How much would your life change if you knew every single time someone told you a lie? Even if that someone was you. Lies like you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, you can't own a business, and you definitely will never make more than you did in your old corporate job. Get ready to be proactive, passionate, productive, and oh so profitable in a way you've never before experienced by opening your eyes to the big fat lies. Now, here's the host of Big Fat Lies, business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Oh my goodness, you guys, I'm so excited. And I know everybody always says that. <laughs> but boy, do I ever have a transmission for you today. And it's all about being irresistible. It's all about being irresistible. And so I named the show, How to Stop Being So Damn Irresistible. This is so funny. Like you think about babies. Now, this is the thing. I want to talk about babies. I want to talk about little kids. I want to talk about the joy of life. I want to talk about the celebration that is you incarnating on this planet with all of this choice in all of this change and what you can choose when it comes to being an irresistible being. And a lot of people spend a lot of time. They're like, ooh, you know, I need to do this in order to be able to have that. So, you know, there's like an equation. I want to talk about an equation. And then I also want to talk about maybe some of your feedback that gave you sort of strange data, strange data on whether you're irresistible, whether you're resistible, <laughs> Or maybe just curious, like, what would this add to my life in order for me to have so much more fun in my body if I spent this time with Jennifer today? So why would you want to spend this time with me today? Well, this show is just as much a transmission as it is a masterclass. And so I would love for you to check, like, out of 10, how are you feeling right now, you know, like in your body? Just if it was zero out of 10, you know, you barely have your eyes open, you've got your laptop cracked, or maybe you're listening to me on the Inspired Choices app. And, you know, you're just hoping to feel a little bit better. 10 out of 10 is feeling fine and fabulous and switched on and absolutely amazing. And you're still tuning in. And then I'm going to check back with you at the end of the show to see what kind of upgrade you've had in your operating system, what kind of upgrade you've had in your nervous system and in your spirit while you're listening to me today. Now, I am a success sorceress. So whatever you bring to me, I will know exactly what to do for you to have more joy, more happiness, more health and more wealth in your life working with me. Oh my goodness, my clients are getting these upgrades all over the place. And so if that's something that you're looking for today, that is guaranteed in the next 52 minutes, uh, you will definitely get some sort of an upgrade with regards to being irresistible and irresistible. Irresistibility. That's easy for me to say. <laughs> So freaking fun. So what did I promise you? In the show, we're going to investigate the data on irresistible, irresistibility and bringing more of that irresistible mojo into all of your creations, including business, and how possibly you could be having way more fun with it than you currently are, swatting off all the people dying to know more about you instead of just letting into them into your live studio audience of adorers. Now, all you business founders in burnout, this is a sign. It is you. You are that irresistible. And let's get to business. So this is what I want to invite you today, getting to be incarnated in a body on this planet is a winning the lottery experience. It really is. So when we go out into the cosmos, out into the other dimensions, there is a lineup of people coming to experience planet Earth. So whether you believe that or not, if you don't believe it, if it's like you're just going to listen to make me wrong, you might want to just click on someone else's podcast. This is my point of view. 
that we are here to have a beautiful sensual experience in our bodies and so sensual isn't just about getting jiggy sensual is what we experience through our senses all of our senses and so yes there's a sexual energy to being irresistible and we are going to tune into that information today and a lot of people have hang-ups when it comes to sex they just do they're kind of like playing hide and seek with their own sex energy so it's like, oh, well, when this person paid too much attention to me, I felt like I needed to shut down my sex energy. And I would say, for me, a good portion of my life, I felt like I needed to shut down my sex energy. Like I had way too many people paying attention to me sexually at a way too young age. And so if that feels true for you, you're in the right place. If you haven't known really cognitively what to do with your sex energy and when someone pays attention to you sexually you feel like you need to shut down that sex energy so if that feels true for you you are in the correct place and so today we're going to look for this irresistibleness of you this like x factor of you and, you know, this is what I'm hoping for you today, that you will begin to discover that, you know, yes, sex energy absolutely has to do with your irresistible factor. And if you won't tap into it, you know, like maybe we can just like crack the lid on the sex energy in your body this like sensual energy in your body so that it can be that that magnet that's inside you that draws the correct people to you can start to turn on and can start to be powered up and can start to really receive what you're here to receive because it's not supposed to be difficult. It really isn't supposed to be difficult. You know, in human design and in the gene keys, these are two modalities that I use among many, many modalities. I have a ton of gold stars uh, that I can use with you or with my clients and help them bring them way more of what it is that they're looking for. And it's you know, it's a full chef's kitchen when it comes to me, you know, I really don't have a point of view what tool I use in order to be able to get you more of what it is that you're looking for. So a ton of people who listen to my show are looking to make their finances better. So build wealth, build sustainable wealth, bring wealth that actually feels great when it comes in. So we're not talking about like, something that would deplete you or something that would make you feel like you're not yourself <laughs> you know like I don't know selling pictures of your feed on the internet you know if that would be fun for you if you're willing to bring in cash selling pictures of your feed on the internet that was just something that I saw on TikTok that kind of tickled me I'm like people pay bank for pictures of people's feet it's so bizarre <laughs> You can do that like once a week. You're like, okay, I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures of my feet. You know, not to say that you don't have to build a business because I'm sure you have to figure out where the people are who are buying the pictures of the feet. But if you have particularly irresistible feet, if you have really beautiful feet and it kind of feels like sensual or sexy or fun to take pictures of your beautiful feet in gorgeous shoes or whatever then why the hell not? It doesn't have to be difficult to bring in the wealth. It really, really doesn't. And I deliberately use the word wealth because it means money. It means cash, but it also means real estate. It also means investments. It means so many different things like a wealth of possibilities, a wealth of opportunities, a wealth of talent, you know, a wealth of you know, beautiful feet. <laughs> you know, it could just mean anything. And so that's why I love the word wealth. You know, some people really think that people who are wealthy are hoarders. And I don't think so. 
I really don't think so because if they're wealthy enough, um, they're not hoarding their talent. They're not hoarding their wisdom. They're not hoarding their business. So, you know, it's just very interesting to me. People do have an interesting connotation when it comes to the word wealth. So hopefully I've explained my thoughts on wealth and why I think you should have it. Because wealth brings you so many different opportunities to express yourself. You know, it really does. Say you have like a minuscule talent in painting and you decide that you want to go and become a really excellent painter. Well, you can study under the masters, you know, and for myself, I love to dance. I ballroom dance and I um, do Latin dance and I've done some like Western kind of dancing and I just love it. And so the more dancing that I can do, the happier my body gets. And so when I'm not dancing, my body's not happy. And so that irresistibleness really comes from having a happy body. You guys get that, right? The happier you are, the more you are irresistible to others. And so, you know, maybe this week, notice this, like, how happy are you? Like, in all parts of your life like of course we're like a holistic being a holistic being will have parts of your, their life where they have continuing mastery in it they will have continuing mastery and that mastery can be the thing that brings you the most happiness on the planet and i'll tell you what happy people are irresistible people just want to be around you when you are happiest People want to be around you. And so if you're thinking, well, how do I get paid for being happy? <laughs> you are in the right place. That is probably, I would say, my biggest jam. Like that's the biggest thing that I want to invite people to is getting paid for being happy. So, you know, if you made a list of a hundred or a thousand things that when you do them, you are happiest just try to do those things every day, all day. And it may be completely unusual. You might love baking. You might not even love eating baking, but the process of baking might be the thing that makes you the happiest on the planet. Maybe going out in nature, like just quietly going out in nature. Like there's so much, um, like projection about what being in nature is, you know, so it's like, oh, you need to hike, you need to run, you need to go uh, ride a kayak or, you know, stand up paddle boarding, or you need to go and run kilometers and kilometers and kilometers. But maybe being in nature is just like sitting with your back up against a tree or sitting in a hammock or, you know, writing a poem or writing a song while you're sitting outside or even like humming to yourself, you know, like part of this irresistibleness is turning on your magnets. And I think it was a week or two ago, I was talking about how sometimes just laying with your ear up against the earth can really be transformational. Just like laying on the grass or, you know, laying on the earth, you know, I mean, you can lay on a yoga mat, but actually laying right on the grass, right on the earth is so um, nurturing and it turns on the magnets in your body. You know, it really calms you. And so if you've been around somebody who really is calm in their sexual energy, like they're not trying to push it on you. They're not trying to like pull you in. They're not trying to like get in your pants. They're just like sexy. And, you know, they're magnetic. You know, you kind of want to fall into them. You're like, wow, I just really want to spend time with that person. They're completely switched on. They're completely relaxed. And gosh, I want to spend more time with them. And so those are some hints and tips about being irresistible in your body and turning on the magnets of your body. And so we're heading into our break right now. After the break, I really want to invite you into what the universe, what the cosmos has to tell us or show us 
about being irresistible and how it's completely safe and it is part of our life's mission. So please join me after the break. This is Big Fat Lies. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis and we are on the Inspired Choices Network. See you after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jenniferkramerlewis.com. Hello, you guys. Welcome back. So before the break, we were talking about how irresistibleness really does come from having a very, very happy body. And so if you're finding that you are too irresistible, definitely do something to wreck your health so that you don't have a happy body. <laughs> of course, I'm being very, very facetious here. But do think about that for yourself. Like how much of your life have you been in an unhappy body? And it could be that you have been resisting the energies of other people, which is causing your body to be unhappy. So in space, before the energy, before the break, I was talking about like the cosmic energies that have come together to create the being known as you in this lifetime, that being has a very specific mission on the planet. And so you can quite easily know what this mission is. If you go onto any web browser like Google or whatever, uh, you can look up free human design chart and then what it will have is something called an incarnation cross. So your incarnation cross is made up of four very specific energies that were present in the solar system, present in astrology, the moment that you were born, and then also three months before you were born. So three months before you were born is your design date. So your design date is actually when the soul crystal came into your little baby body inside your mom. And so your design date gives very, very specific information. Your birth date gives very, very specific information. And then human design and gene keys marries this information to give you quite a bit of data on what it is that you're here to express express so you're not just here for no good reason <laughs> so even if you're feeling like super shitty and you're wondering am i actually here for a good reason you are very very specifically here for a good reason and one of the reasons why you may not have been feeling valuable or feeling cherished or feeling irresistible is that you weren't in the correct energy for yourself. 
And so here's the correct energies. So a generator or a manifesting generator, those are the biggest populations of people on the planet. And they're actually here just to be satisfied by their work. That's it. Satisfied. And so, but satisfied, you know, like you're like, oh my God, just for example, right now, I haven't been, uh, you know, I've been eating keto and keto works the best for me. Like every day, all day, keto works the best for me. But that doesn't say that I don't like look at garlic bread (laughs) and think, oh my God, I have to eat that. So I would say satisfaction is like the first bite of garlic bread for somebody who's been on keto or, you know, like, like a really great kiss, like, oh my God, somebody who really knows how to kiss, like a really great kiss. (laughs) That's what satisfaction is for generators and manifesting generators like at the end of the day you feel tired you feel a little worn out but you feel like most of your day was doing things that were in the highest level of talent for you and so if you're not satisfied then you are in what human design calls not self so basically you're a little shit show so you get angry, you get frustrated if you are not doing the things that are the most satisfying for you. And so I do recommend, again, you know, me and my lists, I recommend that you put a list, you know, like have a list somewhere of unexpectedly satisfying things for you like unexpectedly satisfying, like so satisfying, you know, like maybe you love like popping bubbles on bubble wrap like maybe that's just so freaking satisfying or maybe you love like cleaning out a closet and like the end result of cleaning out a closet is so satisfying for you like I find you know there's quite a bit of my work where I do sort of like forensics on people's lives and on people's businesses and on the results that people are getting and you know so that's very satisfying for me to like rip everything out of the closet and only put the things back in the closet that fit well look nice are flattering (laughs) uh go with each other And, you know, so people end up having this like go-to system or go-to life that's like filled with the things that are the most satisfying for them. And so then the next energy type is a projector. Projectors are here to experience success, like success. (laughs) So like when I think about it, like uh, there was an an, a movie in the 1980s, I think, a Michael J. Fox movie called The Secret of My Success. And that has got to be like the exact thing that projectors are here to have. They're really here to have the BMW, to have the Maserati. And so when they're not feeling successful, their go to not self is something called bitterness. And so someone who is bitter, if they open their mouth, oh my God, it's like that um, dinosaur on Jurassic Park that like barfs acid on you. (laughs) Not good, not good. And then manifestors are here actually to experience peace, like peace. They could be like building a huge empire and it gives them a, a tremendous amount of peace tremendous amount of peace and the not self is anger so if anybody upsets their peace including them they get pissed and so that's not fun for them or for anyone else and then reflectors reflectors are here to be surprised (laughs) they're like wow I didn't expect that they're here to be surprised and so when they're not surprised they get really disappointed in life, really, really disappointed. And so all of those not self frequencies then erode your irresistibility. 
it just erodes your irresistibility. Nobody wants to be around somebody who is frustrated. Nobody wants to be around someone who is bitter. Nobody wants to be around someone who is angry. Nobody wants to be around somebody who's disappointed. But we all have been those frequencies. We totally all have been those frequencies. And it, it's a cycle, you guys. You know, if you have learned more about how to be disappointed or how to be um, frustrated, then it's really incumbent on you to figure out the frequencies that really do delight you. And what are they? Like, at your best, at your most talented, at your most irresistible, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, what activities are you doing? And how much of your month or week do you spend doing those activities? How much? Is it like less than 10%? <laughs> I remember one time I was working with this coach. Uh, I was, uh, she was a meditation coach and um, uh, so much more than that. I really, <clears throat> working with her, I really ended up tapping into so many of my capacities. Uh, and she said, you know, like 80 to 90% of your day should be you doing things that make you happy. And I was like, oh my God, it was just, they smacked me right in the face. I was like, I didn't really, um, I had no clue. Like I was working in real estate. I was working in property management at the time. And I would say 80 to 90% of my day, I was flabbergasted at how rude people were and how naughty people were. Like, I just like, uh, these buildings that I was looking after, like I'd have like a, a surveillance camera in the garbage room, a surveillance camera in the, the parkade. And so we'd see people walking by with a couch and, you know, catch their faces on the camera. And then we'd see them going into the garbage room to abandon the couch which, you know, I mean, there was like notices, there was bylaws, there was like laws everywhere saying, you know, like, don't do that. <laughs> and, you know, then they would phone and say, it wasn't me. It wasn't me who left the thing in the garbage. So hilarious. So 80 to 90% of my day at that point in time was not satisfying it was not satisfying and so thinking about that for yourself what part of your day like what percentage of your day is deeply satisfying to you just think about that for yourself what percentage of your day is deeply satisfying to you okay and if it's not 80 to 90 percent of your day then you have some work to do you have some work to do because it, what's going to happen is that you are going to be resistible instead of irresistible. You know, it's going to be like, oh, wow, all that person does is repel me. And they may be receiving this repellent on a cellular level. So if you have, um, you know, if you'd like to attract more business clients, if you would like to attract more wealth and more opportunities, more friendships, more intimacy, then we really do need to get you in that place and space where you are satisfied, you are feeling successful, you are feeling at peace with what it is that you're doing on the planet. And you are feeling surprised, like, wow, I'm totally delighted with how my life is going. But how to get there? How to get there, you guys? You know, I think one of the things is that we're going to talk about is the willingness to go into the places and spaces that maybe you haven't been willing to go before. 
and you know it might be uncomfortable but we are actually here to experience discomfort as much as we are here to experience like elation and you know orgasmic energies you know the willingness to experience discomfort is required and so we're going to talk about that a bit after the break. This is Big Fat Lies. My name is Jennifer Kramer Lewis, and we are on the Inspired Choices Network. Join me after the break. Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to Jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness. Welcome back, you guys. <clears throat> so before the break, we were talking about creating a life that's deeply, deeply satisfying to you. And so that's really, really important. You have arrived here on this planet the very specific mission and a very specific frequency that you're here to be and do and have. And so for the majority of the population, if you're a generator, a classic generator or a manifesting generator, you're here to be deeply satisfied by the work that you do. And you're here to actually work. So if you're a generator and you're kind of like, oh, you know, I'm hoping that my life will take care of itself. Well, it won't. You're actually here to work. You were here to work. And so if you don't have deeply satisfying work, then the likelihood is that you're not going to be satisfied as a human being. And so when you're not satisfied as a human being, what happens is you get frustrated, so frustrated, and that's not good for you, really not good for you. There's so many effects inside your body from deep, being deeply frustrated. You know, like that irritation creates inflammation in the body. Like, I just see so many different ways of living your life as a generator, as a manifesting generator and creating work that is deeply satisfying. Like at the end of the day, you just kind of want to keel over on your bed, but you're satisfied. You're so satisfied with the work that you did and it's valuable and it's valuable to the correct people. And then as a projector, which is the next biggest population, you know, you're here to be freaking successful and you're also here to direct people. You're here to direct people. Your talents are here directing people, leading companies, leading groups of people. But, you know, we need to make sure that you feel success in what it is that you do. And people are inviting you to opportunities that are successful for you. Otherwise, you're going to get bitter. <laughs> you're going to get so bitter. And here's the thing. You know, I would say people don't come to me when their lives are amazing. They come to me when they're experiencing deep dissatisfaction, deep frustration, deep 
lack of success and bitterness. They're like, oh, things aren't working out, Jennifer. I freaking hate my life right now. That's when they come to me. And I wish it was different. I really wish it was like, hey, my life is great. How does my life get greater? You know, because this deep intuition that I have inside my body, you know, this thing that lights up when I, when I meet people, when people invite me into their world, uh, you know, I wish it could be, you know, helping them have greaterness. <laughs> I really do. What, what would that be like? And, um, but sometimes it isn't. It just isn't. And that's okay. And so that's what I want to talk about right now, you guys, is it's okay if the results that you're getting are not deeply satisfying and they're not deeply successful and they're not peaceful and, you know, they're not surprising. <laughs> Have you ever said to yourself, I knew I shouldn't do that? How did that feel? What did you make that mean about you? Business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis stands for you being deliciously ambitious, passionately productive, oh so profitable, and creating a life that is truly delightful in every area. Tune in to Big Fat Lies every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com to open your eyes to the big fat lies that are keeping business owners from being the bright shining beacons they came here to be. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. To participate in the program, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com or send a question or comment to jennifer at jennifercramerlewis.com. Oh my goodness, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm so excited about you learning this part of your design. You know, it's really super important for you to know that however your life is going is really, really part of your mission. It is. And so this polarity, this um, contrast that we experience on this planet. And I'm going to say we, I've had a ton of contrast in my life, a ton of experiences that weren't fair. <laughs> I didn't think I signed up for them. You know, it's like super, super important to me that you have this information that you don't have to be perfect all the time. You don't have to be like completely blissful in your life and in your business all the time. It just, it doesn't have to be like that. And I know for sure that when you start to reach out and get the information that you need to get from me, from qualified individuals, you can start to have a simplicity in your life. You know, you're like, okay, well, if I'm a manifesting generator or a generator, then I'm really just looking for satisfaction. I'm looking for satisfying opportunities for myself. And that's basically it, you guys. You really are looking for satisfactory, satisfying information and satisfying life experiences, a satisfying expression of what it is that you're here to be and do. And so sometimes we have to mine the places that aren't satisfying to be able to find the places that actually work for you that are satisfying. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to you that you have to have a look at, wow, here's all of the things, you know, do an audit of the not satisfying so that you can actually get to the satisfying, if that makes sense. 
you know, and I really want to invite you to that one, I was talking at the beginning of the show about how it is that, um, you know, there is a lineup, there's a lineup to get to here on the planet, and to have an expression on the planet. And so you're here, you have the ability to have an expression on this planet, and I'm going to invite you to it. I'm very much going to invite you to what it is that you came here to be and do. And so wherever you're listening now or in the future, uh, send me your chart, send me your chart. And uh, if I have some intuition for you, I would love to share it with you. Um, One of the things that I'm inviting people to is to come and find me on TikTok. Uh, I'm really loving TikTok. I want to be able to go live on TikTok. And so if you are a listener of this show, if you could find me on TikTok and add me on TikTok, I need a thousand followers on TikTok. And I'm hoping to have that by the end of the month in order to be able to start to go live on TikTok. I'm really enjoying TikTok. And I'm really not enjoying some of the other places that I have, you know, I used to be able to have so much fun on Facebook. And you might have noticed this, that uh, I'm less on Facebook than I used to be because I'm way over on TikTok and, and just having a ball over there. And so what about being irresistible is attractive to you? Like, think about that for yourself. Like, what about being irresistible actually feels good to you. Like, it's funny, I, I posted on Facebook and because um, there was an energy of like, maybe it's dangerous to be irresistible. Like, maybe it's dangerous. <laughs> and who is it dangerous for? Like, is it dangerous for you to be irresistible? Or is it actually dangerous for other people to be around this irresistible version of you? Like there may be some harmonics, uh, you know, like, uh, like the frequency that you are being in this irresistible frequency. People just can't resist you. You know, they got to buy your stuff. They got to buy your programs. They got to, you know, take you out for expensive dinners. They got to wine you and dine you. You know, they got They just want to rush into whatever it is that you're doing. And so there can be a thought that if I'm that irresistible, what will people want from me? What will people expect from me? So does that feel true for you? Does that feel like, ooh, you know, like if I am expected to do something for people, if I'm expected to do something for people, can I actually do that? And so that's one of the things that came up when I was getting the information for this show is that, you know, there can be some danger in being irresistible. And so it can actually be a projection of other people. Do you guys know what I mean by that? So when they look at you, they're like, ooh, she's irresistible. That might be dangerous. He's irresistible. That might be dangerous. And so the energy of danger is also the energy of excitement. And so maybe we can flip the switch on that and allow ourselves to be a lot more excited and a lot more, um, yeah, turned on in life. And this irresistible factor can be the thing that gives us the information. You know, it allows us to rekindle this turn on that we had as very young beings, you know, like how switched on are babies, how alert are babies and young people, you know, like little toddlers, you know, they just like want to try stuff, they want to eat stuff, they want to go and look at stuff, they want to touch stuff, you know, like they really want to have a full body experience of their life. You know, so I want to talk to you guys about that right now. It's like the irresistible factor allows you to have a full body experience in your life. 
So imagine being that turned on in your life that, you know, people are like, wow, you know, it's so funny. Like my sister always says that I'm the best guest. Like anytime she buys me tickets to stuff, I just like have a full body experience with the stuff that she's bought me tickets for. And I know I talk quite a bit about this on the show, but it's just such an, um, it's such a great example about being fully embodied. Like she bought us tickets for Cirque du Soleil Cavalia. And so we grew up in the horse world and, you know, had horses and my mom was a trainer and, you know, I was a champion equestrian as a kid. And, uh, you know, so anything to do with horses, well, this Cavalia was just over the top. It was like the best horse athletes that I've ever seen in my life and the best acrobat athletes that I'd ever seen in my life and then the best equestrian athletes that I've ever seen in my life all together in the same place like I was just like full body orgasm for everything that they did it was so freaking fantastic I loved it so much and here's the thing this is what we are here to have we are here to be that turned on in our lives we just are you know, the life that you're here to have, if it's like 80 to 90% stress, then this is not what you're here to experience. This is just not. And so you, you got to make some changes. And by making some changes, you got to like plumb the depths. It's okay. Sometimes you got to put a roto rooter down there to get rid of all that poo. You know, like it's not good stuff. It's got to get out of your life. And it can be, you know, sometimes people's families are not helpful or, you know, they're an active stress component. It was so cute. I, um, you know, Tyler Perry does that Maida or Maida. Anyways, he, he dresses up as this old lady. And I saw this on TikTok where he was dressed up as this old lady and he was talking about the places in your life where stress shouldn't be able to get in. And he was talking about how your home should be peaceful, like, you know, like you, it just should. And um, like, I'm probably going to share it on my Facebook so you guys can see it because it was so sweet. It was really just such a, such a simple thing that he was bringing to people that your home should be one of the places that you can have a sanctuary. And so if you're in a relationship that doesn't work for you or your kids are, you know, disrespectful and don't help or, you know, like so many different people have these lives where their home is the stressful place. And, you know, I, I recommend that if that's true for you, that you start writing down what you would like to experience at your home. Like, how would you like your home experience to be? You know, because for me, I really think that we can start to make incremental changes in our lives. And this is something that's always shown to me, you know, I'm a high level intuitive, very well trained, and then also have a lot of natural talent. And when I look at people, you know, when we do that forensics that I was talking about earlier, and start to make these changes at a cellular level, just at a cellular level, and then what happens is once you've made the changes at a cellular level, they will start to show up in your day to day life, you know, because it's like who we're being at a cellular level is what the universe is going to respond to. And so you guys get that if you're feeling like ticked off or you're feeling, you know, unsuccessful or if you're feeling like super frustrated then what can happen is the universe just brings you more of that it's like garbage out garbage in you know orgasm out orgasm in and so starting to make those changes at a cellular level is super super important and then the other thing that's really really important is moderation <laughs> Now, I'm not a moderate person. I'm pretty out there. Uh, but 
having a look at that moderate approach, you know, like we don't need to throw a stick of dynamite into everything. Everything is not broken. Everything is not broken for the amount of places and spaces that are frustrating in your life or, you know, make you feel bitter or unsuccessful. There will be a ton of places that you do actually have a ton of success or a ton of satisfaction available to you, but you just haven't plugged into those places. Does that feel true for you that there are some places in your life that you haven't plugged into yet? And I highly recommend that you start to do some forensics, have a look around, like even make another list. What are the things that are deeply successful for me or have been deeply satisfying for me? Really start to add to that list, you know, and start to experience so much more of that in your life because the frequency that you're being inside your heart inside your being is the frequency that's booming out into the world and so when we feel irresistible inside you know when we're like so excited about delivering to ourselves you know these irresistible experiences as though you know we're just a young child and we're here to delight ourselves with all of the sensual experiences that we can have, all of the, you know, juicy garlic bread, all of the amazing dancing, all of the fabulous music, all of the pleasure of having, you know, enough, having way more than enough, of having plenty to be able to have a wealth of choices, a wealth of opportunity, and to experience the wealth that we have of talent inside our being because you really are a wealth of what it is you're here to be and do like the universe just guarantees that for you and so if it feels like Maybe that's not necessarily true for you. If you would like to have a conversation with me, if you would like to reach out and send me your human design chart, you can find that on any web browser. So like Google or whatever, and just send it to me on TikTok, send it to me on Facebook or Instagram. And I would love to have a conversation about what it is that you're here to be and do and what is the most deeply satisfying route for you to be able to start to do that. So (laughs) how are you feeling out of 10 now? Has this transmission started to make you feel better? I sure hope it has. Thank you so much for showing up today. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies. Talk to you soon. 
Thank you for listening to Big Fat Lies with business coach, shaman and seer, Jennifer Kramer Lewis. Join us next week at 1 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Mountain, 3 p.m. Central, and 4 p.m. Eastern on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Until next week, Jennifer invites you to laugh at limitation and live life delightfully by opening your eyes to the Big Fat Lies.